Today, I'm tackling a big topic. I look into the fears that hold many of us back from starting our own businesses. Whether you've been sitting on a business idea for years or recently felt the entrepreneurial spark, this video is for you. Let's explore the top 13 reasons we hesitate to start the journey of being a business owner and how we can overcome those fears. Welcome back to the channel. And if you're new, I'm glad you're here. I take a deep dive into the world of beginnings and what starting is, why it can be difficult and how to break through. Today's video, becoming a business owner. A 2021 Harris poll revealed that a staggering 92% of people who considered starting a business never took the plunge. The culprit, our good old buddy fear. But fear of what exactly? Let's break it down. The number one, we've heard it before, fear of failure. First up, it's a big one. Many worry about the risks of leaving a stable job only to fail. Yeah, I know that one. But here's a twist. Failure is a part of the learning process. It's about the lessons we learn and the growth we experience. Remember, every successful entrepreneur has faced failure at some point. It is part of the journey. So embrace it. Welcome it. Failure is part of being successful. All right, on to number two. We've spoken about this before, imposter syndrome. The feeling of not being quite good enough. It's common in the entrepreneurial world, but guess what? Acknowledging your strengths and weaknesses can turn those doubts into action points for improvement. So again, embrace it. Don't let it hold you back. Number three, another good one, fear of rejection. Rejection is inevitable, but it's also not the end of the world. It's about finding your niche and focusing on those who will benefit from what you offer. They're out there. You just got to find them. There are you know, for every 10 that say no, you got to find that one that welcomes you and embraces you and will be a client for the long term. So don't sweat the small stuff. Rejection is all part of starting your own business. Number four, lack of experience or education. Many hesitate because they feel they lack the right experience or education. <laughs> yeah, that was me when I started. In today's world, resources are at your fingertips. Use them to fill in the gaps. And remember, learning by doing is invaluable. So again, it's the theme of this video. Learning as you go. Embrace what you don't know. Embrace your lack of experience. Welcome it and just move forward. Just move to it. Once you start, you'll, you'll learn these things pretty quickly. Number five, lack of funds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Worried about funding? You're not alone. Start with a solid business plan. It'll help you figure out the finances and maybe even start as a side hustle to reduce risks. So what we're saying here is that don't go all in at the very beginning, but start small and maybe as a side hustle, get some revenue going, test the waters, get a feel for your business, get some revenue flowing so that when you decide to go full time into this, what you started as a side hustle, then you have money in the bank. Okay. Number six, fear of success. Again, this is one of those sneaky ones, but afraid of success. It might sound odd, but success brings its own challenges. Stay through to your own why, and you'll navigate the success waters just fine. So understand why you're in this business, why you decided to take that challenge in the first place, that jump into the unknown. Understand that why will get you through that fear of success. For me, I know a fear of success is about being able to deliver to my customers the standard quality they've come to expect. So I'm taking a very cautious, slow approach to my business growth as I grow I'm growing at my pace. I'm not growing too fast so that my quality drops. No, I want to understand my growth. Okay, number seven, loss of freedom. 
Starting a business might mean less free time initially, it will, but it's also a path to personal freedom. It's about balancing sacrifice with the long-term vision of your life. So as then it's that life work balance. Initially there will be starting a business will take a lot of time and energy and effort and thought and planning. But as you grow, part of that planning should be to take care of your own health and get a good balance between work and life and what you care about. Number eight, responsibility and stress. Yes, the weight of responsibility can be daunting, but with proper planning and delegation, it's manageable. Focus on developing a lean strategy, okay? controlled growth, managing everything that you have in front of you. Don't try to grow too fast because then you'll lose that sense of control. Number nine, lack of stability. Worried about stability? Yes, there's the chance that your paycheck is gone now. There's no more paycheck. You have to create your own revenue and that lack of can be worrisome. It is a valid concern, but remember, even traditional jobs offer no guarantees. As a business owner, you have more control over your destiny. Number 10, no ideas. No idea where to start. Inspiration can come from anywhere. Talk to people, explore your passions, and be open to discovering that groundbreaking idea. I know when I was looking to start my business, I had a long drive from Vermont to California. It took about five days. Somewhere in that five days, I discovered photography and then went on to create my real estate business. Number 11, finding the right team. Building the right team is crucial. Take your time hiring and trust your judgment. Remember, your employees can make or break your business. There's a saying... You know, take time to hire, but quick to fire. Invest time, money, and energy into finding the right employees for you. People that fit your culture, the culture and vision of your business, that they share that. That's important. Number 12, bleak economic outlook. A bleak economic outlook can be intimidating. However, there's no perfect time to start a business. Do your research and find your opportunity. So the economy is in constant cycles. If the economy is on a downturn, maybe that's a good time for you to to really develop and understand your market so that when it turns, you're ready to capture it. Number 13, the last one, personal struggles. And lastly, you know, personal struggles for sure. Starting a business is demanding. Ensure you have a support system in place and don't hesitate to seek help when needed. That is important. Find your true friends and the family who are interested in supporting you. And in conclusion, we have just talked about 13 reasons, fears, and how to overcome them. Starting a business isn't easy, but it's certainly possible. Define what success looks like for you, embrace change, and prepare as best you can. Remember, you're not alone on this journey. If you found this video helpful, give it a like, share it with a friend, and don't forget to subscribe for more insights into making your business and other dreams a reality are on the way. Until next time, keep pushing forward. Your entrepreneurial journey is waiting for you to start.